Now we are ready to do our final mix down. The first thing we want to do is get rid of our master tracks. So we'll drag across the screen from the bottom, the across diagonally across the master tracks, hit delete, and they're gone. The next thing we need to do is select all of our song, and if we click in the window and hit Command A, we click all the regions and we'll carefully drag them right to measure one. Be sure to line it right up. The most important thing we want to do in the mix down is adjust the volumes. So as we're playing the song, we can raise the volumes like you've been doing when you were recording or lower them. We want a good balance between all of our instruments. This you've probably already been doing when you were recording. What's even more interesting is this column here. This is where we pan or move the sounds from the left to the right. So I'm going to solo my kalimba and listen to it from the middle. But if I wanted to move it all the way over to one ear, I turn it to the L or I can slide it over to the other ear. It's great to adjust these so that your whole song is spread into different place, into different um, parts of your stereo space. So again, we want to adjust the volumes and then enjoy just adjusting the pan or stereo to left and right. There is even a more interesting way to do our mix down. If you look right here, there's a little button with, on an angle, and if you click it, it turns yellow, and you can see that it adds this line, and right here, there's a little button similar, and we're going to select it too. This allows us to change the volume through the song. So for example, if I want the kalimba to fade in, I click on the line, it creates two dots, now I'm going to drag this dot down, and you'll hear the kalimba fade in now. Here it goes. It's going to get louder. And also this little slider is moving automatically. If you want to do a fade out, do it at the end of your song with a couple of dots. And now we have a fade out on the kalimba. You can do that on all of your tracks if that's what you want. To get rid of these, if you diagonally drag across them, you hit delete. The little buttons go back to normal. You can also stop the automation by going like this, and now that's not automating anymore. A little more advanced, we can change from the volume window to the pan right here. And now this line that's in the middle represents where the sound is in stereo. So if we do something like this, the sound will move through your ear from the left to the right. You won't be able to hear it on this movie, but it's moving from one side, and you can see this little wheel is turning automatically. For some of your parts, it may be fun to have it move around, kind of like it's going. You can hear how all of it goes together. So, automated mix down click the tracks you want to do the automation on try volume first if you need to do it and then try pan the others you probably want to ignore for this project you don't have to do automated panning but I know some of you are going to want to try that to make your song extra special good luck today